Cody and I love traveling. Traveling allows me to meet new people, see different places and to taste different foods. Today I'm taking you with me to the beautiful Republic of Guyana as we try not only their national dish but a traditional Christmas dish. We're going to be making pepper pot. Now pepper pot is a very unique dish and is often made with the rough cuts of any type of meat. You use goat, oxtail, pork, beef. But can you make pepper pot without those types of meat? Yes, you can because the main ingredient that makes a pepper pot, a pepper pot is the kazareep. And we will be using kazareep today. So let's go over the ingredients. Now we have two pounds of veggie meat. Now, if you're not using the vegetarian version, you can use two pounds of your favorite cuts, goat, pork, beef, lamb, oxtail, whatever. We were using veggie meat today. We have two hot peppers, which I chopped it roughly. Five cloves of garlic. Now this is extremely important. I have half a cup of cassari. The cassari is a preservative. This helps not only to give the pepper pot its color, but also the flavor. This is extremely important. We have about six to eight cloves and two cinnamon sticks. Half teaspoon of salt and half teaspoon of pepper. One large onion, which I chopped roughly one tablespoon of sugar, some oil for frying, and to add additional flavor, we have some thyme and the rind of a piece of orange. Now we're gonna start to cook our pepper pot. Now, if you're using meat, this could literally take you about three or four hours. So that is one advantage to using the vegetarian version because it takes less than an hour. So we have our oil in, and then we're gonna add our veggie meat. I have two different types of veggie meat to get two different textures. So we're gonna put them in. And once we have our veggie meat in, then we're going to just stir it around. You hear that sizzle? Then we'll continue to add the other ingredients. The veggie meat would have been pre-seasoned to improve its flavor. Now we're going to go ahead and add the other ingredients to create this unique dish. Smells so good already. Now we're going to add the other necessary and important ingredients. We're going to add the clove and the cinnamon. It just brightens up that flavor. We're going to add sugar. That is something that the Guyanese loves. We're going to add some water. It's always better to use hot water. That way you don't mess with the temperature. Because if you use cold water, the temperature in the saucepan will just drop and we don't want that so we add some hot water we're going to add the cassari and cassari is made from cassava it has a slightly bitter taste but it's a great preservative and it's used not only in pepper pot you can use it in regular stews you can use it in all kinds of dishes Whenever you talk about cassari, you know you're talking about Guyana. Then we're going to add our thyme. And very important, the rind from the orange. We'll allow this now to simmer for about, say, 20 minutes to half of an hour until everything is nice and tender. Then we'll do a taste test to see if we need to adjust our seasoning in any way. And then we're done. Our 
our pepper pot is done. It looks so good. It smells amazing. Now it's time to taste. Now, traditionally, if you're in Guyana and you're using pepper pot at Christmas time or any other time of the year, you always use it with plaque bread. So we're gonna do that today. So we're gonna taste it. It smells so good. And this would not have taken hours and hours. I, I actually, I just want to taste it without the bread first. Let's just see if this will transport me to the Amazons of Guyana. Very powerful. You can definitely taste the cassowary. You can definitely taste the pepper as it just explodes. It is a really good idea to eat your pepper pot with bread or some other kind of starch because it helps to subdue some of that heat that you get. But I can see why it is a traditional Christmas dish. It just puts you in a happy mood. To all of my Guyanese subscribers out there, I really hope I did this traditional Guyanese Christmas dish justice. Please let me know in the comments section below what you think of this dish. Guyanese pepper pot vegetarian style now you need to try it now if you enjoyed this christmas recipe i want you to look over here see some of my other christmas recipes and once you've watched them all just click the button below subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're notified every time i post a video and remember to leave me a comment i love hearing from you season's greetings to you